Guru Electronics is a trading business majorly selling computer parts. They also sell certain brands of digital cameras. Many times they want to know how many total computer parts are in stock and how many total digital cameras are in stock. They may also want to know that within computer parts, how many monitors are available, how many processors are available, etc. In Tally ERP9, this can be easily achieved by creating stock groups and stock items. Welcome to Chapter 4 of the Tally Learning Hub. Today, you will learn how to create stock groups and stock items to manage your inventory easily. Tally ERP9 gives you the flexibility of creating stock groups, subgroups and stock items in the way that you require for your business. For Guru Electronics, let us create two major stock groups, computer parts and digital cameras. Within computer parts, we can create subgroups for monitors, processors, etc. Within digital cameras, we can create subgroups for each brand like Sony, Nikon, etc. All their stock items can be grouped under these stock groups. Similarly, you can create stock groups and stock items applicable for your business. Let's start creating these stock groups. Press I for inventory info, press G for stock groups, press C for create. Type the name as computer parts, press enter. Since this is our main stock group, we will select primary here. Press Ctrl A to accept the screen. Similarly, let's create a stock group, digital cameras. Select primary, press Ctrl A. That's it. Our two main stock groups have been created. Let's now create our subgroups under computer parts. Type the name as monitors. Let's select the group as computer parts because this is a subgroup under computer parts. Press Ctrl A. Similarly, let's create a subgroup for processors. Select the group as computer parts. Press Ctrl A. Let us now create the stock items under these groups. For this, press Escape. Press I for stock items. Press C for create. Type the name of the stock item. This is where you can group the stock item under a stock group. We will select monitors. Next, let's give the unit of measure for the stock item. Once we create a unit of measure, we can use the same unit of measure for other items as well. Now, here's a tip for you. At any field in Tally, when you want to create a master, which could be a ledger, group, stock item, stock group, unit of measure, etc., you can use the shortcut Alt-C. This ensures that you don't have to move away from the screen you are on currently to create any master. Let's create a unit of measure from this field itself by pressing Alt-C. Since monitors are measured in numbers, let's give the symbol as NOS and formal name as numbers. Press Enter and accept the settings. Press Ctrl A to save the item. Similarly, let's create another stock item. Type the name of the stock item. Select the stock group. Here, I will select processors. Now, you can see the unit of measure we created earlier being listed. Press the keyboard down key and press enter to select the same unit of measure. In case your stock item needs a different unit of measure, you can again create a new unit of measure by pressing Alt C. Press Ctrl A to accept the stock item. And this is how you can create all your stock groups, subgroups and stock items in Tally ERP9. This will help you keep your inventory organized and know your total stock at various levels. In our next session, you will learn how to set GST details in your company.